I'm going to show you guys a cool quick tutorial on how to make flowers and leaves and you could do a whole bouquet in all different colors. Um, this was a tutorial I found online one time and I just I really want to share because it it's really cool. So I've got my swatches panel out. I want to select the pen tool and I want to make sure I don't have a fill so I'm going to start out making leaves and I've got a green color. Well actually let's start out with a really, I'm going to try a darker green. So let's do a dark green color. And I'm just going to do a line segment of a sort of wavy thing. It's just one line. Now I'm going to select a different color. Let's choose this really light green. And I'm going to do another line that's right near this one. And I don't want the ends to connect. I want these two separate, uh, two separate lines. And then now something we want to do is we're going to do a blend on these lines. So we're going to go over to our blend tool and double click the blend tool. Don't just click it once, double click it. So this gives us the options. From this drop down menu, we want to select specified steps. And I'm just going to select eight. Um, we can adjust that if it doesn't turn out the way we want it to, but I'm going to do eight, say okay. And then I'm not going to actually use the blend tool here. I'm going to select both of these. I'm going to go to, up to object go down here to blend and then say make and see how cool that looks and and if you had put these two anchor points a little closer together it would have looked a little a little cleaner I guess uh, this um, edge right here it's a little sharp but that's fine so we've got this really cool gradient so um, let's do another leaf over here or maybe this looks more like seaweed it doesn't matter uh, dark green, or you could even do a dark blue. I'm going to select both of these with my drag selection tool, object, blend, make. And see, it looks really cool with uh, darker, really dark and really light colors. And so if you wanted to, you could just copy these so you could hold down, you could hold down option and drag them. You could resize them rotate them and see how you could do potentially you could do one branch like this and then just copy it and rotate them and stuff I mean it doesn't take that long to do so I think it would look better just to draw a whole bunch so let's do flowers so I'm going to select the pen tool uh, let's do magenta for one color so I'm going to choose magenta Sure, that's fine for one side of the flower. And then let's choose, let's say this orange color. And remember, don't uh, connect this pen, this point, this anchor point to this one. We want these two separate lines. Okay, and then we can do the same thing. Select them both, object, blend, oops, object, blend, make. And um, this is really cool for flowers because then I really would just uh, drag and then op option drag so I have a copy and then just uh, rotate them. And so then as you can see if you had a whole bunch of these you could just make really cool graphics for um, posters or for your website um, you could do things that weren't flowers too, of course, I'm not sure what, but it looks like there's a little variation too in the line, um, line on there, so it doesn't even look like the same shape over and over again. Um, you could just come in and draw a, oops, I didn't want to do that. So that's why you don't want to click on a previous anchor point, it'll do weird things. So I can just go in and draw a stem, uh, turn it green, I'm going to move it up a little bit maybe make the stroke a little thicker and I like to choose from uh, this option right here I like to choose um, this this option makes the line quality um, thick thin thick thin and so it's I kind of nice it kind of looks more organic and that was really simple to do and it looks really pretty so thanks for listening to this tutorial. Um, leave any comments if you have any questions or, com uh, or, yeah, or just leave comments. Thank you.